So if we switch these on, they should start going down at a speed that the drills should be able to handle. Yep. Cool. G'day people, welcome back, um, yeah, sorry I've been away for a little while, it's flu season down under and I've been suffering from a bit of the man flu, <laughs> but um, joking aside, it's really difficult to actually record when you're sniffing and coughing and it doesn't sound very nice on video either, so I've had to um, put any recording on pause for a couple of weeks, but I have been busy and I'll show you what I've been doing this monstrosity over here so at the end of the last episode started building the deep core asteroid miner I, I, i'm trying to think of a good good name for it i'll have to look at that and what a what, the, what we'd got up to i think was just putting the frames in for this system here um so what we've got is a, a piston array here that will extend I think I think I've got about 15 of them so it should extend about 150 meters I could have put more quite frankly um, I'm thinking I maybe should have done but um, I didn't in the end but I'm not it, to put more now I'd have to well all I'd have to do is take the drills apart actually and put them back on I don't know we'll see how it goes when we test it we could always add more actually when we're in space after we've used it once or twice if you feel it needs to go deeper then it, it shouldn't be a huge task to do that, quite frankly. Hmm. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got a seven by seven drill array and the 15 pistons. So let me give you a quick tour of the ship as we've got it at the moment. Um, I'll start with the outside. Let's put this on so I can see what hydrogen is doing. Um, I needed a hanger on it. I wanted like a, a drone workshop hanger and another area to put my small ship. So I decided to put the hanger on the front. So here it is here. This is probably going to be the drone workshop area. Now, this is how I've kind of decided it's going to look. Um, I'll forget this side for just a moment. This side, this is how I'd done it initially and built it up like this and it went straight down the side all flat and a bit boring so I thought what I'd like to do is is add some kind of panelling system onto it like I've done on this side however to do that I had to then take the whole side apart again and build it out by one more so that I could then run this along here dip it in run it along and dip it in to give this panelling effect so this side here is how it originally looked um, and that side there is how I'm going to go with so if you look at the top here you can see that it's not quite even so I'm going to have to take this side apart and build it up again one further out which you know, a little bit time consuming grinding it all down but um, yeah it'll be worth it in the end because I think it'll look much much better and it, I think this helps the the bridge portion stand out a little bit as well so that's going to be the bridge in there um, yeah, and I've been building this up and welding it up, welding it up as I go along because I find it really difficult to see what something looks like when you're just using the frames. Uh, I know a lot of people can build like that, but I, I find it a bit tricky. I need to weld the the blocks up to really see what it's going to look like. So I'll just show you what I've done down the side. So this is what we started off with. We started off with this landing gear here, and then built up from there. So I've put a, what I've done is I've put a light under there just to highlight the landing gear and I'll do that on all of them and built this kind of cover over the landing gear because it, it, I just want to look a little bit in more interesting. These squares here are just place markers for the large ion engines because um, I'll probably add those there. Under here, um, what I've decided is I'll probably attach my small ships under here because it will be this skirting that's on the other side here and runs along here will run along the whole 
underneath so they'll all be covered and yeah and there's a big bit of space under here that's not being used and I could actually use you know and I think I probably will use all this to place my small ships this landing gear, gear here we're going to configure this one today this will be like a um, a holder holding block for the the drill array when we're moving around so this will clamp onto this and just hold it in place just to make sure it doesn't shake apart um, so that's one thing we need to do today another thing we need to do today is set up the timing for the pistons and just quickly test this piston array and dig into the ice a little bit and the other thing I need to do today is move this entire thing up <laughs> by a few meters because I can't fit the landing gear on this side because it's too close to the ground so we're gonna to have to move it all up and hopefully it's not all gonna fall apart when we do that so let's go into the hangar bay this will be the drone like I said this will be the drone bay yeah so decent amount of space in here because uh, when we're in space I do want to start utilizing drones quite a lot for um, scouting out some of the the wrecks that we find uh, scouting out asteroids for resources and scouting out pirate bases so up this way we go up here and then we can continue up there to the bridge these are all double doors so we can get a nice airlock and everything this will be the bridge area um, this will all be sealed as well I just haven't got around to that bit and there'll be a a door on that side as well so we can get down both sides of the the craft so that's back down to the drone hangar so in here um, will be the dry gyro room I'll be covering this whole wall in gyros because I need this thing to be fairly maneuverable I'm gonna have two large uranium generators this is the finished components storage this will be um, so if I just show you what how the system's going to work we've got some power in these because I stuck a couple of batteries just through there and a couple of solar panels on the roof just to charge those batteries so we've got a little bit of power from the solar panels the batteries are on recharge so this will dig down into the asteroid into the resources it'll come up all the resources will be pushed this way and this is the processing room so we've got a couple of large containers feeding through to three refineries the refineries will have speed and power modules on them this will feed through to another holding tank for the ingots because I anticipate having a lot of ingots um, and then we've got three assemblers and then finished components will be fed back through to these two large cargo containers through here um, and, and also any uranium ingots will be fed through to power these as well now when it comes to ice oxygen and hydrogen um, I've put all that this at the back of the ship there there's a large cargo container here with a sorter there that will pull ice through to this container as it comes through the system and then the ice will be processed through here oxygen Energy. tanks there hydrogen tanks there now this isn't going to be powered with hydrogen engines but I do want some hydrogen on here um, because if we do land this on earth or I'm struggling to get it off of here because of the weight I can always add a couple of hydrogen up thrust to to help lift it off or to land it if we need to do that so yeah so that's the basic setup there and then the option will obviously would pipe back through the entire ship let me just go and top up my energy quickly now I'll take you on a another quick tour on the inside and we will try and set up the drilling array that's enough power that'll do okay so let's um, let's go in this way these squares here are just placer blocks for large ion engines again because that's, that's how big they are so I've got a walkway that runs 
all the way around here obviously this will be exposed to atmosphere the inside of here these walls will be built up all the way along what I'll probably do actually is put glass walls along here so you can actually see the drill array from the corridor out there so this is the control panel for the whole system here this will release the clamp and set the drills in motion retract all the drills and and reclamp them when we're done so what I want to do now is let's um, so I have set uh, well, I want, I want the control panel first so pistons drill array so that's what we've got at the moment and uh, pistons pistons I think there's yeah there's about 15 of them yeah so I've already grouped those I've grouped the drills so I can switch those on and off so button number one will be to switch on the drills so we go to groups toggle those on and pistons drill array toggle them on and extend so yeah Oh no, I need to release the cra cr cramp, the clamp first. So I, I want to do all this with one control panel. So release the clamp, extend, start the drill array, track the drill array, engage the clamp. Okay, so number one. Oh shoot. That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> mistakes were made I've just used up all the power that I've got um, let's get these switched off quickly drills off pistons drill array there off make sure they haven't extended at all no they're good okay that was a mistake shouldn't have pressed that should have pressed K, that's it. Now let's take all of these out. So I guess what we should do first is get that clamp working. So if I can try and see it from here, I haven't actually configured this yet, so I need to sort of gently move this forward until the clamp engages. So for the clamp uh, da, 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 da. piston drill lock that's the one so switch it off for the moment so if I go for a maximum distance of or well, how far do you reckon that is away three or four meters let's go for th let's go for three meters maximum distance three meters let's move it fairly slowly so we'll go for 0.5 initially switch that on so how far are we away probably less than a meter you reckon so if we go piston drill lock and we'll slow the speed down a touch let's switch it off for the moment slow the speed to 0.3 and we'll increase the distance to 3.5 switch it on let's see if it locks nope so let's take it out another half meter Nope, let's take it to 4.2. It's locked. Okay. Cool. So 4.2 meters is the extension for that. So, what we can do with this one, number one, is set it up so um, I need to find that piston, don't I? Piston. Landing drill array. 
I just imagine it's going to be one of the last ones. Drill lock. That's the one. So that will be. That can be permanently on, I think, this one. So that will be to retract. And finally, when we're done with the whole thing, that one. will be to extend and so we just need to make sure that we leave that extension of that one at 4.2 meters. hope this is making sense. So we'll leave the speed I think at 0 0.3 and we'll leave the distance at 4.2 minimum distance zero so it will retract, retract fully but it will only extend to 4.2 meters which should be enough for that to work so if we press number one now why isn't number four lighting up mm, okay let's... oh I know what's done idiot okay Landing, 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 landing. Drill lock. That needs to switch lock. Actually, we could just toggle the block off, couldn't we? Why isn't that working? We're powered because the things are green. So, drill lock. Oh, that's it. Yeah, now that needs to be retract, doesn't it? Idiot. So, retract. Landing gear off. Oh, oh. I'm going to break it all, aren't I? Why didn't that work? Toggle that off for now. Hang on, let's toggle it on and reverse. Let's get it back into position. Okay. Ah. Uh, what if that needs to be. Oh no, it's something on retract. It should work. So, why isn't that button turning off that landing gear? That's the question. Let's make sure I've got the right landing gear. Landing gear. Do do do. Why can't I see that one? So what I'll do, I'm going to damage it slightly. And then we'll be able to see which one it is, because there's no control panel on this on these. Okay. Where's your control panel? There it is. So landing. Hmm. Have I renamed it? I have, haven't I? Drill lock. I called it drill lock, didn't I? What an idiot. Okay, let's weld that back up again. Okay, let's try that again. This shouldn't be so difficult, should it? No, it shouldn't. Nor should that. Right, okay. Let's remove those. Energy low. Oh, yeah, all right, whatever. Energy low. Okay, so this needs to be. Drill lock. Can we just go switch lock on that? 
and then do you know what let's test that first like that so currently it's locked now it's unlocked okay right Is it still locked? It is still locked. Okay. So with the piston, where was it? Draw lock. It needs to be retract. Now let's make sure that piston is on. Piston drill lock. It's on. It's extended. Right. Is this going to work this time? Why isn't that piston retracting? Have I got it retracting too slow? Point five. Should we just be re reversing it rather than retract? Do you think? Reverse, reverse. Where's reverse? There it is. Okay. Critical. That piston isn't moving. Let me go and sort out my energy. I'm going to cut there. I'll try and figure out what's going wrong. And then I'll get straight back to you. I don't. Yeah, I know. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> you lot probably knew all along. These actually relate to the one, two, three, four. You can't do more than one action with each button. Um, now I don't want more than one control panel in here that's the thing I just wanted the one control panel so I, what I need is something that unlocks the clamp and retracts the piston for the, the drill lock I need another button that will turn on the drills and start extending the drill array the piston a piston array that attaches the drills I need a button another button that will stop the drills and retract the pistons and I need a final button that will extend the the drill clamp and engage the landing gear um, now one panel won't do that because there are too many things that need to be done um, now what I'm thinking is possibly one way around that could be um, timer blocks so what I could do is have a timer block, you know, can I can put timer blocks in that room over there because I've got batteries and gyros and stuff in there so it'll, it can sit in there and I could have a timer block that will, um, the setup actions will do what I want it to do. So button one will just initiate timer block one and timer block one will just retract those and then boom, stop, that'll be it done. Um, timer block two will do the stuff with starting that. Time block 3 will do the stuff with bringing it back. Time block 4 will, will then engage the clamp. Now, I think that will work. Um, he says what we could do is just try it with one time block at the moment. Let's... I guess it doesn't matter where I put it at the moment. Um, I just need to weld this bad boy up. I guess this is what I could use the the build queue for, couldn't I? Donk. So, um, go to G, timer, I want a large block, pop it in the build planner, and then I can, oh, how do you do this again? Is it middle mouse button? Um, 
Let me draw components for the build planet. Boom. That should be enough to build that time lock. He says, hopefully. I can get to the right spot. Okay, so we've got a time lock there. Let's try it now. So, okay. timer. So what I need this to do, the setup actions, is drill lock. Okay, so is to unlock that and retract that. So that's the actions that time lock needs to do. Um, I don't want a delay on it. So let's do that. Hmm. It didn't retract the piston. Do I have the piston switched on? That's the question. I think I do. Oh no, I don't, idiot. Oh, let's turn it off, it's trying to retract. Um, let's put it on reverse and get it back out again. Right, that would be helpful if I switch the thing on in the first place. So, timer. So if we put this time block on now, all going well, this should Yes, okay. Yeah, it stays there. So that should do it. So setting this up with timer block one. Starting timer block one will do that. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna to have to configure that. So I'll I'll do that off camera. So I'll have to use timer blocks to do that. Um, yeah, I guess we could just test it to make sure it goes the other way as well. So let's go to timer block again, and we'll do the setup actions. Drill lock. So, oh, they're already in there, aren't they? So we could go with that one. Um, should just be able to remove that one that one should be extend it should only extend <coughs> 4.2 meters but the tire block does need to run long enough for that to extend although it should okay let's try it okay that's it's extending now it should only extend 4.2 meters because that's it, its maximum extension anyway and it's locked and stopped. Brilliant. That's how we're going to do it. Okay. Um, I probably don't need the timer block actually for that one because I don't. The, the landing gear will lock automatically. So this final one just needs to activate the actual piston itself. So let's remove that from there. That one simply needs to be extend. That one will be timer block one. I just need to reconfigure that timer block to unlock the clamp. So the setup actions for that one will be to unlock that bad boy and to retract that bad boy. So this now should work. There we go. That's it out. I'll wait till it's fully all the way out. 
And this one, oops, why is it doing that? I shouldn't have that in there. Oh, yes it does. I'm looking at the wrong one, aren't I? Timer. Start. It's number four I'm looking at now, isn't it? So, drill lock. Pistons. Extend. And that lock. Right, that took a bit of getting to, didn't it? <laughs> Good, okay. So the middle two will be timer blocks that will control the piston array to turn on the drills, extend the pistons, and then the other one will be turn off the drills and retract the pistons. And then when it's finally done with the drilling, I'll lock it in place and then we can fly off. Brilliant. Okay, got there. Okay, this walkway goes all the way around. Um, there's also another doorway going to be this side as well. Yeah. So that's that bit done. What I wanted to do as well is just quickly test these drills uh, to make sure the whole ship doesn't shake apart and then raise the ship up a bit and then we're done for this one. I'm not going to do all the building on camera because it's a big build. Um, so what I'll do is I will attempt to finish as much as I can between this episode and the next episode um, because I want to get into space as quick as we can and start using this thing because I'm fed up on, on Europa and I want to leave. Okay, so let's... Boom. Let's press number one and get that clamp out of the way. And then what we'll do is manually just turn on the drills so, drills on. So they should start digging up ice already, and they are. Now this ice at the moment is just going to get stored in the actual drills. It's not a problem. I'm not bothered if we waste any. Now, pistons. Pistons, drill array. They're off at the moment. What speed did I set them at? Um, they're going to have to be pretty slow. Because you've got 15 of them extending all at once. So if I extend them at 0 0.1 metre per second with 15 of them, that means it would extend at 15 metres each second. Is that right? I'm sure that's about right. So the velocity I'm going to put these at... Oh, I've put it, I've put it at 0 0.01. So they should extend at about one and a half meters per second the entirety of the system. So if we switch these on, they should start going down at a speed that the drills should be able to handle. Yep. Cool. Let's switch them off. Reverse. Let's get them back up. Turn the drills off. We got 24k ice in each drill by the looks of it. Oh, all thereabouts. So yeah, the thing works. And as you see, it's still shaking a bit. So if we started flying through space after doing that, or started manoeuvring, we could be in some serious trouble so once it's done we clamp it in place and we are good to go Bob's your uncle Fanny's your aunt locked so what I want to do now is go down to that piston down here and see if we can't lift this bad boy up for a few meters <laughs> this is going to be interesting I hope this works if this all flies apart now I'm just gonna cry because this is hours of work okay let's look um, what I'm gonna do is currently turn it off so what do we want to do, um, do you know what? let's turn it on and just reverse it what's it at 0.5 meters we'll go with that Oh, 
really struggling, isn't it? Off. Let's turn it off. Did it lift it all? It did. <laughs> oh dear. The strength of those pistons is remarkable. I should have extended all the pistons actually. Um, no, that's fine. I'll just do the one. Okay, so we got it off the ground a couple of meters, so we should be able to put a landing gear on, fit one onto that. Let's have a look. Yeah, I can fit one on now. That's good. Okay, that was the main purpose, and so we could finish the skirting under here. But yeah. Drills work. The the landing gear obviously landing legs obviously work because we've just tested that. And the docking clamp or the drill clamp works as well. So yeah, so there we go. Oh it's got a bit of sunshine now, you can see it a bit better. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the way it's turning out. Um the panelling on the side makes a big difference, otherwise big smooth lines is just a bit boring, but all big flat line flat flat surfaces. So in the back here, you can have a number of large ion thrusters. Um, initially, when I build this thing, I'm only going to put enough thrust just to get it into space. Because <laughs> I'll probably work on the ship as we fly towards Earth. Um, which is where? I don't think we can see Earth from our vantage, vantage point here, can we? Just the alien planet. Yeah. But I think it's it's... Yeah, getting off about 2,000 kilometres, so we've got plenty of time in space, or we're flying through space, to actually do some work on this thing as well. So I'll probably just adjust the thrust around it. Um, like I said, I, I may increase the depth that this can go to. Um, that's always an option. Like I said, the only thing it needs doing is the drills would need to be removed, and I could add more pistons. I, prob I probably wouldn't bother going to two, more than 200 metres, so another five pistons would probably do it but we'll see um, up here this is like an intake so if we do salvage and such we can drop all our goods in through here and through here will be access to all our stored components if we need it um, like I said those solar panels on the top there is just to, to power those batteries at the moment just so I had some power to test this stuff because it's not connected to the base at all yeah. This will be on a sensor, these doors. Um, so when we approach, probably get to about here, and they will open. Likewise, internally. Well, internally, I'll probably have a button to open them. Otherwise, it's just going to keep opening every time we go near them. But most definitely, a sensor on the outside to open and close these. Um, weapons I need to get around as well. I'm not sure where I'm going to put those. Same with the, the braking thrust. Not sure where I'm going to put that yet. Mm, I have to think about it. But yeah, it's coming along. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Mm. Can't wait to get it actually using it properly on an asteroid. Just to see how much it can mine in one go. Which should be a considerable amount. Yeah. Okay, ideal. All right, well, I am going to call that an episode. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Where am, I? Where am I? I'm there. If you did, please press that like button. It helps the channel grow, and I appreciate it greatly. Thank you for subscribing, and I will see you next episode when this thing hopefully will be not necessarily completely functional, but well, well on its way to being so. So I will see you guys later. Bye.